I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas proud, I Hey guys, it's your girl Tita, welcome back to my channel, if you are new here, I bring you guys videos just based on lifestyle, beauty, travel, and just everything luxury and anything I feel like you guys might want to see. Uh, so today I'm going to do a quick get ready with me. I'm actually in a rush. I have about 20 minutes to get ready uh, to go out with my friends tonight. So just come on. Alright, so I'm going to start off with some milk of magnesia. And I just put that pretty much in my T-zone or anywhere that I don't want to get oily. I have very oil -pulling, uh skin, so that's what I'm going to start off with first. In the meantime, just kind of just want to also do like a little chit chat. I have a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. I have a lot of changes coming up. And um, this is actually a good night for me to just get out on wines and stuff like that. I think I'm just going with my finger. So, like I said, I just go. And I also use this, like, if I just wanted to be, like, an all-night type thing. I'm also hoping to get some footage tonight, like, good content for my page. Uh, if you guys don't already, follow me on Instagram. Um... Instagram and TikTok, at it's Kita, and I think I have a Twitter as well. But all of my social media accounts are under the same thing, so just follow me, guys. I'd love, 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 love that. All right. So while that's drying, oh, I forgot to show you guys what I got in Sephora in my last video. So I'll just show you guys. I got, I picked up a new Fenty, uh, what is this, a Precision Blending Brush. So it's number 230. So I picked that up. I picked up a Gloss Bomb Heat. It's supposed to be, this supposed to be like plumping. This is the Fussy Heat number two. And I also picked up this Fenty Skin supposed to be like a deeply hydrating stuff like that so let me open this up and see the other stuff I'm going to actually use tonight but I want to see how this smells hmm. I mean I think it smells good it gives like a cloudy like a small hint of floral but it's like, it gives like fresh laundry kind of thing, which is a scent that I love. Let me see if this has like, if I can see what like the undertones are. Oh, and I love that you could just get like the refill, the refill to it. Oh, so it's just called um, Fenty Skin Butter Drop. Mm. All right, guys. So now that that has dried down, what I like to do is my brows. I like to do my brows first. So I'm just going to go in with this e.l.f. It is a lock on liner and brow cream in the shade Espresso. This is what it looks like. And, and I just go in with a little eyebrow spoolie brush duo set. And I start from like the center and I do a, an outline. And then I come back lightly. I like to feather the front. And then I'll dip again. Oh, sorry guys. I'll dip again. And I'll go top brow. 
kind of outline here. So guys, I don't know if you guys noticed, I actually had gotten my eyebrows, um, what is it, like microbladed, micro shaded? This was way before it was popular. This is like five, no, like three years ago, three, four years ago now. And I got it done the first time and I absolutely, I got it done twice in total. So I got it done the first time and I absolutely loved it. And then obviously, well, if you guys don't know, it doesn't last. It's not it's not like a like a regular tattoo. So they're not supposed to go as deep. Um they're not supposed to penetrate the skin as deep as you as they do for a tattoo. So it lasted the first time it lasted about uh about a year to two years. And then it started fading. So I went to get it done again and honey, not by the same person, but I went to get it done again and they absolutely messed up my brow. They absolutely messed up my brow. So, um, I kind of just, I still follow the outline from the front. So that's how I can kind of like just do my brows real quick. But, like, on this eye, you can see, like, it comes down way too long. And it's just a mess. And I know there's, like, stuff, technology now where you can get it, like, do, like, the laser treatment to get it removed. But I already got enough stuff going on with my face. Between my breakouts, my dark marks, so... I think that was just my lesson to leave my face alone. So it'll just be there until it fades out eventually. The the front part of it faded out for the most part. I'm just waiting on the tail end, but until then it kind of just sits there, whatever. So my brows are done and then so now what I'm going to do is I do so because I'm like prone to breakouts and stuff, I do like a reverse face. I don't do like a full beat and I like my makeup kind of real simple. Um, so this should be really very, very quick. So I just like to shake up my foundation. I'm going to go in now with Fenty Beauty. And the matchsticks so i use the matchsticks duos and i use Takanto and highlight i use espresso and the suede color so i like to do that first i always go in from the front of my brow just to slim down my nose do that on both sides I make sure I contour the end just to shorten my nose and then I go from my earlobe down so my earlobe straight down and I come down the corners of my mouth and then I do my jaw just to give it a more chiseled or to like define my jawline whatever i don't really know the proper terms guys i'm just showing you what i do hopefully this will help somebody so i'll do the same thing on this side so from earlobe down and then i do the jaw okay so i do next i do these i, I think it's called a cupid's bow I just do two lines just to define it a little bit and then I have a very high forehead so I definitely shorten this forehead and when I get frontals I shorten that too I bring it 
crazy. Okay, that's for the contour. Now for the highlight, I literally just go in between everything I just did. So center of my forehead. And I don't do it big in my forehead because, again, I'm trying to shorten it. And then I do my nose bridge. I do the corner of my eye. And then the outside. Or the wing. Or I'm not sure. I just, call, I just do the corner right here. And then I do the corner. The outer corner. That's it. And under the center of my chin. And sometimes I put this here. But not usually. I guess I'm just trying something tonight. Okay. And what I like to do is. Well, what I do do is. I go in with. Okay. All right, y'all. So I I have this little. You know what? Let me do so. Oh, here we go. Okay, don't judge me, guys, but I didn't get a chance to like clean off my brushes. Don't judge. So I use the D Slick Urban Decay, and I use the Fenty Beauty. What is this? The concealer brush, 180. I like to spray the brush and then I go in with the highlighted parts first. I don't let it sit that long because I'm doing a natural, I don't like heavy makeup. So um, the longer you let it sit is the harder it is going to be for you to blend it out. And I don't want that. So I wanted to be able to move. So I literally just leave it on for just a few seconds, as you can see. And that's it. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I only spray the brush once, just enough to get something going for me to be able to blend it but i don't oversaturate the brush because again because i only did the two parts because i did the two parts because i did the two parts I want it to stay where it is. I don't want it to be slipping, sliding, and all of that. All right, so, and now I'm going to do the center. I'm going to do the center just like that. Again, I usually don't go back in and spray the brush again because, again, I don't really want it to be moving like that. So I did the forehead. I'm gonna go ahead and do the chin. And I am in no way, shape or form guys, a makeup artist. It took me quite a while actually to get, I don't even know why I put this here. I don't usually put this here guys. It took me a while to like figure out a good makeup routine for myself. Just because I don't like excessive amounts and um, I literally do this every time. The only thing that might change is if it's supposed to be like an all day thing, I might put a little bit more milk of mine or I might put on like double, I might contour a little bit hard, like harsher. All right, so I'm done with blending my highlight. And now to blend out my contour, I use this Sephora brush. It is number 99, the Pro Sculpting Brush. And again, with the D Slick Urban Decay Spray. It's a mattifying, no, it's a makeup setting spray, oil control. So I just go in 
and I literally just brush back. And you want to brush back into your ear. I don't do this in any, well, I'm lying. I kind of work with what what's bothering me first. So for tonight, since my hair is going to be back, I want to make sure I blend out my neck really good. So I'm doing that first, just in case I have to add a little bit more. I'm going on first. You want to make sure you're breaking up any harsh lines. And then I'm gonna go into my hairline. Now this I'll retouch once I take all of this, the bonnet off. Okay, sorry guys. I'll be happy to get in there. Again, I like to shrink my forehead. So I bring my contour in, as you can see, like I bring my contour in my face pretty far. And again here, I do like a horizontal brushing into the air. Make up all harsh lines, all these harsh lines. I'm going to do I don't even say a rough time or a rough patch or it's just a a big alternating time in my life like a transition oh a transition I'm doing, going through a big transition it's a lot of changes happening I kind of touched on it in my last video but for um I think I'm gonna just aim for the moon like Pop Smoke said and just go for it um so i'm actually so when i was uh 20 years old i enlisted into the united states navy and i have been serving since then and that was back in 2013 so I am on my journey of separating and while the Navy has been good to me, I've reached the point where it is no longer going to suit my life. When I joined, I didn't necessarily, you know, I joined obviously, uh, I wanted to serve, I have family members that or in the service um, so I was very well educated on what I was getting myself into I absolutely love my time while well, I'm still active I absolutely love my time that I served uh, I was deployed and and I did the whole nine yards um, so at this point all right guys so I finished blending out the contour so now I'm going to go in with um, a foundation brush. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty foundation brush number 115. Yeah, guys. So when I joined, I was not married. I didn't have kids. So I was able to move around and deploy and travel. And I didn't have much worries. Now I'm married with two beautiful baby girls. And um, I just don't see myself leaving them. And all right guys, so I literally just go in with my foundation. I use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long, Long Way Foundation. I am the shade 440. So I just go in and I blend in the different 
the different parts of where I highlighted the contour. Like, wherever it meets, I blend that out. So, yeah, guys. So, I'm just at a point um, where I'm not able to leave my kids. And, yeah, I just need to take the opportunities that my service has afforded me the ability to utilize and branch off and continue on into a different path. So some, you know, everybody's opinion of the service is different and I respect everybody's opinion. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So that's what I'm going through this year. And I have a lot of other changes and big moves that I'm just trying to maneuver in a way to where it works for me and my family. Um, and then also because I had my daughters. Sorry guys, if this conversation is like all over the place, but it's literally like how my brain is working like. This is how my brain be jumping. Like, I have a million tabs open in my head. So, I'm just in a very weird spot. So, that's what I was trying to communicate in the last video. Like, I'm going through a lot of transitions at the same time. I'm trying to maintain who I am. And also, like, be a good mom, a good wife. And still follow my genes. For those of you that or wives or moms or something hopefully somebody out there can kind of relate to what i'm saying and it makes sense but that's where i'm kind of at right now so i just go ahead now that i'm done and i spray this on and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my nutmeg fenty beauty nutmeg pro filter setting powder and I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty setting brush, number 170. And I am just lightly, very lightly, going to go around. Okay, guys, so this is my routine, literally. I don't even know what time it is. I'm sure my friend is waiting on me. All right, so yeah, guys, that's where I'm at right now. It's kind of stressing me out. Um, you, I'm pretty sure you can imagine. Uh, I joined when I was 20 years old. I just turned 21 when I went to basic training. And now I'm 30 and I'm literally starting over just about. So, oh, this is what I wanted to do. Dang, I wanted to try out. Okay, so guys, I'm going to try out this. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to try out this lip plumping this lip plumping gloss and again this is the fussy heat gloss balm okay okay so mm. Okay, I can actually feel this gloss glossing or the plumping, but I need a little bit more pigment. All right, there we go. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to use the Duo Ship Last Adhesive, so just some regular, ordinary 
strip lash glue from the beauty supply. Yeah, guys, so that's where I'm going right now. And then also have some other stuff that I'm working on. Um, I'm trying to also get back into my business. If you guys don't know, I have my own online clothing boutique. It is called Key Deluxe. I'm actually wearing the pants tonight. So by the time this video drops just go ahead and check my instagram and my instagram is it's kita itz underscore underscore k-i-t-a and my website is kitalux.com check out my outfit and this will be tagged i'll tag a link the pants or the link to my website down below so yeah guys, so that's what's going on in my life, pretty much. I'm just gonna take you guys on this roller coaster with me while I'm waiting to get this glue to dry just a little bit. Let me get my accessories on. Guys, let me know down below if you guys... Oh, first of all, if there's any service members. Is this showing up right? Yeah, because it's supposed to be backwards to me. Yeah, so this is right. Let me know if there's any service members down below. Or anybody that has family that's military. Anybody that's separated, separating, how is their process going, how they're feeling. And yeah, but that's what I'm going through right now. Just trying to solidify the next steps in my life and what I exactly I want to be doing. So my, my accessories. So this watch is from JBW. Uh... I forgot the name of it, but it's when they like really first launched. I've had this watch for like since COVID, I think started. And then I added these um, bracelets. So it's like a little set. And I was going to wear this. You know what? I'll just throw it on. Guys, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notifications, um, share with your friends. I would greatly appreciate the support. And then I'm just throwing on these little matching earrings. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing tonight. Okay. I think oh. I think I should have put these lashes on already. Okay guys. All right. And then in my hair earlier let me brush through these baby hairs okay so for my baby hairs I literally just use this or sometimes I use that's to be and this little brush and I think that's too much.
my guys, this takes some concentration, especially since I'm taking pictures tonight. Oh, this gotta be just about perfect. Okay. And then I'm just gonna call. Oops. I think that was a sign to leak out. Okay. The last thing I like to do because my head is usually tired. I like to go through with the same contour brush that I use. I don't add more. And I just blend up the contour to the top of my hairline. I blend it into my hair. So this part was covered down. All right, guys. I'm going to add some content at the end of this. So you guys see where I went for the night. Um, I just gotta put my jacket on. But you guys get the drift. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm outside in a AMG. Right outside. TT. Two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew aside. All the niggas brown.